It's Kids Coney Playground here again. Today we'll be doing another tutorial on our channel. Uh, it's a maze game. So you're the mouse and you move around using the arrow keys or WASD if you prefer. And you collect the cheeses right here to gain, pick random one to 10 points. And this is plus five right here. When you grab it, you get more time. So I'll give you a little demo of the game. So you use the mouse to move around, I'm using the arrow keys, and when you grab a piece of cheese, it says good job, and brings you back to the beginning. Um, so then, I'll try to grab the plus five, as you can see, my timer went up by five. Getting a cheese, we'll pick random five, one to five points, and then um, I removed the tail of this mouse because it often got stuck between walls, like maybe right here. So that's why I took it out. So yeah, that's basically the game. You guys can try it out yourself. I will share this project soon. You guys can try it out. Okay. So let's get a new project. File new. Gonna rename this project. Let's rename it to Maze Game. So Maze Game, we're gonna take out this cat. Let me import some stuff into here first. So I have the cheese and this thing, the timer thing. So, I'm also going to get the backdrop, which is the, I mean, not backdrop, the maze. I forgot to get that. I'll get that in a few seconds. Okay, so I got my maze sprite. So, what this maze is, I had three costumes. So, every time you get the cheese, it'll switch the costume, so you have a different level to play. So, uh, this is just a little maze we drew, so we just used some boxes. We drew some boxes around. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how you draw it. So we have we'll have this in our Google Drive. If so, you can download it if you want. So I'll ungroup it so I can show you that we drew some individual boxes. As you can see, just drag them around. You guys can make any level you want, or you can download it if you'd like. So yeah, that's basically what we have right here. Some random like lines, and we'll um. Okay, so now let's go into the code. So we're going to set up um, the mouse sprite also. Let's go. The mouse. So the mouse thing. I'm going to edit this, so we're going to have to delete this tail because it messes up the game sometimes. So if you want the tail, you can, but then your game might uh, feel different. It might be different. Like, it might get stuck. There might be some problems, so I'm going to keep it like that for now. Okay, so then we're going to set up the mouse by... Putting it when the green flag clicks. When the green flag is clicked, let's show. Show the mouse in the beginning, and then we're going to do um, point direction of 180 so it points to the bottom of the screen when we just start the game. And then we're going to go to this position. So this is the position I set it to back then negative 90, 165. So you have to like set this to according how your maze looks like if you're going to draw your own. But for this maze right here, it's negative 90, 165. So it'll spawn right here. Okay. Let's go back to the mouse. Move this up here. And then for the mouse, we're going to set the size to 50%. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Set size to 50%. Let me see if that look, looks good. Looks a little too small. Let's do 75. 75. Let's see. Yeah, that looks a little better. Let me see for a sec. I, I need to see what my old one, how big that was. Okay, so it looks like I said it's a 35%, so I'll show you how that looks like. Yeah, so that's 35%. That's how big I set it to. So you guys can set it to how big your map is. Okay. And then next we're going to, um, for the backdrops, we have, we have like a backdrop. Let's make a backdrop, actually. So I'm going to make just like... I don't know, maybe a red backdrop. Let's, let's draw a box uh, as the red backdrop. So you guys can do whatever you want. You can upload your own backdrops as well. Do whatever you want with this. Okay? And remember, you guys can fuse two colors together like this. As you can see, it looks pretty cool, as you can see. Maybe we could do white and maybe like that color, I guess, purple. I don't know. Maybe let's just do this, okay? I add a little color into the thing. So, like, okay. So, that's going to be the backdrop. 
So in the beginning, we're going to make it switch backdrop to backdrop 1. Because we're going to have a losing screen, I mean the game over screen. And then we're going to do switch costume to mouse A. Okay, now we can work on the cheese. So this cheese was just downloaded from online. So we're going to broadcast the message from here and to, uh, into the mouse to make it move. So we're going to start here. And then we're going to get into what green flag clicked inside the cheese. So let's get one green flag clicked. We're going to set the size to 75%. 75%. We're going to show the cheese. And we're going to make a variable. Let's name it score. Score. Okay, so we're going to set the score to zero. Okay. And after that, we're going to go to a random position. So this is us uh, making the cheese go to a random position, but we don't want the cheese to be inside the wall. So we're going to do something about that. And also remember to make your maze the size of this thing, the backdrop, like that. So we're going to have to show this so we can get the color. So repeat until not touching this color so then the cheese won't be in the middle of the wall so you can't get it. So that's what we're going to do. Repeat until not not touching this color so we're going to use this eyedropper thing and get this color okay and then we're going to go to a random position again so go to a random position and hide we're going to hide it because we don't want so if you don't hide it it will like see you'll see the cheese teleporting all around so we just want to make the game a little bit more cooler a little bit more better makes it look better so we're going to put the hide, so then you can't see any of this happening. And then down here, we're going to show after this is done, and then we're going to broadcast a message called run. So what this does is we don't want the cat um, and the mouse to be moving around while the cheese is getting uh, placed. So that's why we want to do this. Run. Let's name it run. So up here, we're going to... Uh, we're going to get... Actually, no, let's go into the mouse and finish the mouse, and then we'll go back to the cheese. So, let's go back to the mouse real quick, and we're going to code the movement. So, when I receive run, we can forever, forever, if, if then statement, if, key, up or W, touching a key, up. Or W, so W, up, up arrow key, or W. Then we're going to change the Y by 4. So I just found that 4 is the perfect amount of change. So we're going to change Y by 4. And then we're going to point in direction of 0. Point in direction of 0, which is facing up. And then if on edge, bounce. So when you're, look, when you're moving up, it'll point up. And if it's touching the edge, then we're gonna make it bounce. We actually don't need this anymore. Actually, we can do it because like there's some empty spaces right here. But like back then when I had this, this was a little bit smaller, so you could actually touch the edge. But yeah, let's add this anyway, so like you can't go in off the screen a little bit. So we're gonna make it bounce on edge bounce and control if if the touching is color if you're touching the color of the wall of the maze, let's get the color, then we're going to change the Y by negative 4, so then they can't go through it, so we're going to change Y by negative 4. Let's duplicate this entire chunk of code, and we're going to put it right here, in the forever loop, but not in the other if that statement. So we're going to get if down arrow key, down, or key S is being pressed, S, then we're going to change y by negative 4. And we're going to point in direction of 180, which is facing down. And if on edge bounce. And if touching color, this blue color, then we're going to change the y by 4. So when you're looking down and you're going down, then we're going to push it back up. So we're going to change y by 4. Let's duplicate this again. Put it into the forever loop. Okay. If right arrow is being pressed or... The key D is being pressed, D. Then we're going to change the X instead of the Y, so we can take this out. Change X by 4. 
x by 4, and let's put this back in, and point direction of 90, which is facing the right side. And if touching this color, we're going to make it change x by negative 4. So then it's facing the other side when it's touching this side. When it's bumping into the wall on this side, we're going to push it back out. Duplicate this. Oops, not common. Duplicate this. Put it in the forever loop. And if uh, left arrow is pressed or A or WASD, we're going to change the X by negative 4 and point direction to negative 90, which is facing the left side. If on edge bounds, and instead we're going to do 4 right here. Okay, and right here, if it's touching the cheese, if the mouse is touching the cheese, we're going to make it, like, say, good job or something like that. So if touching cheese, we're going to say good job for, like, one second. Good job. One second. And then after that, we're going to change the score. The cheese will give you a random score from pick random. Let's do score, pick random, uh, 1 to 10. Let's do that. Okay. And then we're going to broadcast a new message called next maze. We'll use this later. So next maze is just to switch the level maze. So we're going to broadcast message next maze. Next maze. Okay. And then next. Okay, so everyone, I'm going to demo the game. So when you play it, you can move the mouse around. The cheese goes to a random position, and when you grab the cheese, it says, good job. As you can see, the mouse is not going back to the front, and as you can see, you're getting basically infinite score. So we're going to work on that later. So as you can see, you just move around right now. Okay, let's continue working on the code. So we're going to go back to the cheese. Let's go back to the cheese. Okay. And then when I receive next mace inside the cheese, we're going to wait one second, go to a random position. And so when you switch the maze, we're going to have to do this again. Let's duplicate this. I have to duplicate this part again. So repeat until not touching. So once it's touching the maze, we're going to find a new position for the cheese. And then we're going to do the same thing. Okay. All right, so let's play it. And we also need to move the mouse back to normal place. I think, yeah, so as you can see, when you touch the cheese, it finds a new position. As you can see, it moves right there, but your, your mouse is not moving back to the beginning when you're touching it. So we're going to have to change that. So when I receive, okay, so actually, we are going to go to the mouse, actually, so we can make it go back to the beginning. So let's, when I receive next maze, we're going to stop other scripts in the sprite, so then it can't move while that is happening, while that is in play. Let's stop other scripts in the sprite, and then right here, we're going to do, when I receive next maze, we're going to move it back to the beginning. So when I receive next maze, let's move it. Go to negative 90. So we're going to go to negative 90, 165. That's the beginning. And then we're going to point direction of 0. I mean 180, which is the bottom. So we're going to make it point bottom. And then wait one second, and then we'll start. So, okay. Let's move this up and play. So save the project. Going to get the cheese. So it says good job, three points. So we also want to switch the costume for the maze. So when I receive next maze, we want a next costume. So then it could switch the costumes. So next we're gonna get, we're gonna set the position of the maze. So we're gonna get one green flag clicked. Go to zero zero and we're gonna show. Okay, and let's uh, let's, start, let's make a timer. So, timer for the the scheme. So we're gonna make a variable and name it timer. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, let's make let's make a variable. I don't know why 
you can only do cloud variables right there, but okay, we're gonna use this for all sprites, timer. Okay, so for here we're gonna get a one green flag clicked, we're gonna set the timer to 60. Timer to 60. And then forever. Wait one second. Change the timer by negative once, and then the timer has been going down. Negative one, and if the timer is equal to zero, if timer is equal to zero, so if the timer equals zero, then we're gonna broadcast end game to end the game. And then when I receive end game, when the game ends, we're going to switch the backdrop to a game over backdrop. So we're going to make one. Let's paint it. Um, I'm just going to do this or something like that. Just make like some green backdrop. Mm. No, I don't want any outline, so I'm just going to do this. So yeah, I'm gonna take this out, okay? And then we're gonna get the text. Just make some red text, and I'll use this font, I guess. Game over. So we could write that, make this bigger, more visible. Okay, okay. So now we have the game over, so when I receive end game, we're gonna broadcast. So I'll switch backdrop to backdrop point, which is the game over. I mean, backdrop two. Let me center this. I'm not, I'm not sure if I have centered this yet. Uh, yeah, I think I have. Okay. So now switch back to 2, and we're going to stop other scripts in the sprite. Stop other scripts in the sprite. It's right here. So after end game, we're going to stop the timer. Okay. And then the maze we're going to get when I receive end game hide. I can hide the maze. Okay, and then in the mouse, we are going to, when I receive end game, when I receive end game, stop other scripts in the sprite, let's duplicate that, and hide. Okay, so this should work, I think. Let's save it. Okay. So we're gonna get the cheese. Okay, I think we still have to make this go back to the beginning. So when green flag clicked, pretty sure I already said it right there, right? Okay, so to fix this, we're gonna move this over here. So to make it go back to the beginning. So let's see. So I did a mistake right here. Put this over here. Making it stop everything, so you have to put it into one script. So as you can see, the mouse goes back. So I'll show you guys one more time. As you can see, it goes back to the beginning, and it switches the map. So now we have to work on the timer, which is, like, you get plus five time, so... Just duplicate the code from the cheese. Some of it is similar. Just duplicate this. Oops. Duplicate this. And this. And let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So when I receive end game, we're going to hide this. So. Okay, and then when backdrop switches to backdrop one, backdrop two, I mean, which is the game over, and we can hide as well. I don't think this is actually necessary. I had this in my old code. I guess you can just delete it. it doesn't really matter. I have this already. Okay, and then next we are going to uh, what else can we do? Oh yeah, so for right here in the next maze. This is all the same except we can take out this run. We can take out the broadcast run. 
So this thing is all the same. For this one, uh, we can... Okay, so let me see how big this is. Yeah, okay, that's a fine size. I don't think we need this. This is going to make it even smaller. So we're going to make it pick random 10 to 15 seconds for it to start spawning it. So that's what I did. Uh, I'm just going to do 5 to 10, so for testing purposes. And then we're going to... So this is supposed to be down here, and then we're going to hide in the beginning. So I don't want to make it spawn every time. So it's a little bit rare. And, okay. So after this, we don't need the score thing. So go to random position, repeat until, and all this is correct. Okay, now we have this all done. Okay. Next, we can go into our mouse. Our mouse has the... Um, we can add a little script right here. So in our mouse, we have to add an if-then statement. If touching the time, so if it's touching the timer, the plus five time, time, then we'll change the timer by five, so you get five extra seconds. Change timer by five. And we're going to broadcast a message called bonus time. Bonus time. Bonus time, let's go back to the timer. The time sprite, okay, when I receive bonus time. So let's go to the time, and in bonus time, we're just gonna copy, paste, duplicate this code into here, so. Yes, I think that's it. Now I'll save it, and I'll demo it, so let's play. So as you can see, the timer is still constantly going down. So let's see, if I get the plus five, as you can see, the timer went up, plus five, I got five more seconds. Pick random five to ten seconds. It'll spawn one. So you can see one spawn, and they will move around um, time to time. Because every single maze, it'll switch. I'm just gonna play this one time. So she's actually spawned in my spawn. If you don't want that, you can like maybe make a hitbox, or you can like make it max spawn height as this or something like that. Let's get cheese. Cheese, remember the cheese will give you pick random 1 to 10 points for the time, plus 5 time. You can also add a high score like in my other game. You can add it if you want. So I'm just going to let the timer run out, and I will show you guys the game over once the timer runs out. Okay, the timer is about to run out, so as you can see, when the timer runs out, it's game over. Oh, yes, and we can hide the cheese as well. When it's game over, we just broadcast. So I forgot to do that when I receive. Um, end game, we just hide. I'll just do that for everything. Okay. So, yes, that's basically the project. If you enjoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. And ring the notification bell if you like our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.